Now that I've finally dispelled all the darkness from the depths in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, it's time to get down to real business, and that is finding the pristine versions of the most powerful weapons in Hyrule just for you. Let's go! What's going on everybody? DubCP back with another Zelda Tears of the Kingdom video, and this time I'm going to be telling you where to find some of the most powerful weapons in the game, the pristine Royal Guards weapons. Let me tell you what you're gonna need to do in order to unlock these pristine versions. Simply cleaner, better, more durable, and more powerful versions of the decayed weapons you've been finding in the overworld. And they come with an added bonus modifier that can range from the worst, which is long throw, to the best, which is attack up plus 10, in my opinion. Where are these weapons? You've probably already guessed that these weapons are found only in the depths of Hyrule and they are accompanied by these soldiers that simply fade away when they hand you the precious pristine weapons. In order to obtain certain pristine weapons in the depths from the dark soldiers, a crucial task must be completed first in the overworld. Just a little bit of work, just a little bit. All you gotta do is break the decayed version of the weapon over somebody's hind parts. That's all, just open up a can of whoop ass until the decayed weapon is destroyed that will inevitably unlock the pristine version in the depths. All that research was done by another YouTuber in Philly Beats U. Link to his awesome video is in the description and he covers where every style of weapon is in that video. So check that out for show. Sure. I'm only going to cover the Royal Guards weapons since they are some of the most powerful base weapons you can have. Let's talk about location. Location, location, location. The Royal Guard pristine weapons can be found under the Gerudo Desert at the Gerudo Canyon Mine, which is located right beside the Mastututu light route. If you don't have this light route yet, you can also access the mine by way of the Gerudo Summit Chasm. I highly advise you activate that light route as it will make farming these pristine weapons much easier. There are three different soldiers, each wielding a certain type of weapon which in your case is excellent, or should I say pristine? <laughs> Get it? Pristine for, for the type of weapon? <laughs> I, I'm hilarious. Seriously though, this is the perfect location to try your luck at finding the best version of the pristine weapon you're searching for. The sword will be here, the claymore will be here, and the spear will be right here. Knowing exactly where each weapon is makes this next part much easier. I'm going to show you how to get the Royal's Guard weapon to pop up in the soldier's hand. Because it's not always going to be Royal Guard's type. It can be any sword, claymore, or spear you have broke over somebody's head in the overworld. With this simple trick though, we can make sure it spawns what we want. Once you first get to the mine, depending on how you got there, you will see the dark soldier appear with a pristine weapon in hand. This locks that weapon down. So what you need to do is get to this spot at the mine. So we can't see the soldiers rendered in yet. Lock down a save. Better yet, if you got your traveler's medallions, go ahead and plop down a traveler's medallion right here in this very spot. It is crucial that you lock down a save in this very particular spot. Depending on what weapon type you're looking for, head to that particular statue in this case, I chose the sword. Once I get to this soldier, he's holding a pristine traveler's sword. Not what I wanted. So what I'm gonna do is load up that crucial save and try to roll for the Royal Guard's sword. I reload the save. The soldier isn't there yet, so that's perfect. Perfect position. Heading over, and this time, it's a Royal Broadsword. Not what I wanted. We're gonna reload that save. This time, ta-da! We got the Royal Guard's sword. Sometimes it may give the same thing over and over, and if that happens, you need to take the weapon from the soldier and throw it away. I got this Traveler's sword like 20 times in a row after saving it, so I was like, nah, something ain't right. Once you do that, it resets it after the next Blood Moon, and if you have watched my blood moon glitch, which is on the channel and the link is in the description, you can respawn a blood moon extremely fast and easy. Once that blood moon has kicked in, 
plop down your save out of the dark soldier's view and reload until you get your weapon. I got extremely lucky and only had to do a couple of reloads before I got the Royal Guard's weapons to pop up. Once you see that it's the Royal Guard's weapon in hand, now it's time to roll for the perfect buff mod. This is also super simple since the game locks in an autosave right before you take the weapon from the soldier's hands. When you take the weapon to see what's on it, long throw, durability, or attack up, and it's not to your liking, you can just reload that autosave and roll for something different. I went for attack up each time and got max on the spear, plus nine on the sword, and plus eight on the claymore. You do you though. Yeah, I mean, if you want long throw, you go right ahead and get long throw. That is how you get the best pristine weapons in Tears of the Kingdom. These weapons are also fusible, so if you have some silver lionel horns to fuse, you can really ramp up the attack power. You can have a combined attack power of 95. You can have attack power at 104. And if you get the plus 10 on the spear, you could have attack power at 89. I hope this helps. And if you really enjoyed it, smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're brand new. I got all kinds of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom videos coming your way. So please hit that subscribe button with that post notification bell so you don't miss out on a thing. You already know what it is. You already know what it was. It's your boy Dubs. See, Pete, here to do one thing and one thing only. And that's. Deuces.